Hi there. Whew, just practicing me cheat kundo. Let's talk about Bruce Lee. One of the earliest memories I've got of Bruce Lee was actually watching this great film called The Man, The Myth. It's actually a pretty good biopic, really. It's pretty bang on for the most part. And I never even realised till about six or seven years afterwards that it was actually Bruce Lai uh, starring in, not actually Bruce Lee, that's what an idiot I was at school. There's a great part at the end of the film where he said he'd actually faked his own death and he would return in 1983, 10 years after he passed. I talked about being at school, I was always hoping he would actually come back like he did in No Treat, No Surrender, and actually teach me Kung Fu. So when I was getting picked on by the bullies at school, they got the shock of the life when they realised I was like some kind of martial arts expert and I could beat them up and attack them and stuff, which is not really the foundations of martial arts, but there you go. And uh, yeah, I talked about kids at school though, they would have all these conspiracy theories about what he was doing and if he was still alive or not. You know Bruce Lee's not really dead, don't you? Yeah, it's in a book. What he did was he faked his own death so that he could work undercover for the Hong Kong police, infiltrating drugs gangs in the triads. Yeah, I reckon that's true. Actually, thinking about it, the kids at school might have had a point about Bruce Lee faking his own death. Because if he isn't dead, how come he's got a verified Twitter account? and an Instagram account. <laughs> Explain it to me. Explain it to me, America. One of my all-time favourite things to do with Bruce Lee was the Bruce Lee computer game for most of the 8-bit formats. If you see footage of it now, it doesn't particularly look like much. It's, uh, you know, it is what it is, but at the time, really felt like being Bruce Lee. You could uh, fight ninjas, uh, you could fight a green yamo, whatever one of those was, and you had to collect these little lanterns. Got some great old school artwork there, an actual painting. And one bit I always used to think was, uh, it always makes me a bit sad when I read it, as in the instructions it says, at 40,000 points, and every 30,000 points after that, you get an extra Bruce Lee. Well, that'd be great in real life if could just get an extra Bruce Lee just back again some points. Whatever that means. Yeah, the lock has been located on a truth constrained white coat and blue hoodie and ridiculously big stupid scarf. And approach with caution. Probably said this a few times, but growing up in the 80s, loads of films were ruined by the BBFC from being edited. It took me years to see uh, Enter the Dragon in all its uncut glory. But I've got a weird memory of seeing it on the BBC once, and the shot of a plane taking off in the intro had a really beautiful blue sky, and I've never seen it on any version before or since. I guess it's uh, that Mandala effect, right? And all these scenes being cut, especially the scenes with the nunchucks. I don't know what James Firm was actually thinking. Do you think there was going to be some like nunchuck massacre or something? But uh, what you do find though is uh, if you've ever used nunchucks, here's a pro tip. If you use them for more than five seconds, all you do is you either hit yourself in the head or hit yourself in the nuts. <laughs> Luckily now we live in a more enlightened time period and uh, the BBFC pretty much uh, let anything through nowadays. If uh, you look at some of the filth, flan, filth that's on Netflix, uh, you'll see that rings true. But uh, you think Bruce Lee died in the 70s. It makes you think if he had survived until like the late 80s, the 90s, or even now, I think he'd be 70 something. Wonder what kind of film Bruce Lee would be making? Well, wonder no more because me and Ian Lee discussed this topic on the radio. I was thinking to myself though, if he was alive, yeah. what kind of crazy films would he be making now? Because oh. I'm always a little bit gutted that he didn't make, ever make a film with like a talking dog or something. That's like. <laughs> <laughs> Because I've often thought, well, what kind of films would he make in the 80s and stuff? But yeah, Bruce Lee with a talking dog, that would be awesome, man! That's exactly what I want to see! (laughs) 
Anyway, let's see if anybody's left me any comments on the comment lever. Oh, it's a lovely day. I thought I'd uh, come outside, bring a good book for reading, and uh, have a quick crafty beer. Can't wait to have one because it's a uh, bank holiday. Uh, some good quotes in that book, and uh, talk about good quotes. Let's get the comment lever on the go. Pretty good photographs in there as well. A good archive of Bruce Lee's career. Here's the uh, first comment. It's from CP. It says, Loser! Loser! You're a loser! Are you feeling sorry for yourself? Well, you should be, because you are dirt! Could have put that to me a bit more gently. Well, we should go for another comment. Oh, a pretty good Bruce Lee video called A Warrior's Journey. Some great interviews and uh, all the deleted scenes from the game of death. Here's a comment from Matt Hooper. And see the coach from Jaws. It says, This guy's like a total athlete. You take that back. Actually, I'll just check what it means. Oh, I didn't even realise you meant that. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. Can't believe it's been nearly 10 years since when he entered the dragon at the cinema. Let's get one final comment. Came past the print works and the sat nav said, You've reached your destination, glitchless went past the entrance. But what are we gonna do? Pop the car out, Leslie Nielsen, and make it go. Here's the last comment, it's from Phil Speedway 1. Do you feel this by uh, the Speedway ground? <laughs> Says, uh, Love watching your videos, mate. Being a fellow Stokey myself, it's great to see you filming around the area. Any chance of doing a video of you, if you're gaming this for your collection? Well, that's not actually a bad idea for a video. And uh, I, th I think I've only regularly played about six games, so uh, it'd be perfect. Uh, nice one. Thanks for the comment. Hope everyone has a good bank holiday weekend and uh, keep it locked. Thanks for watching The Legends of Cherry Hill. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing.